Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So today we're doing another video here, number 26 in Electrons and Atoms. Bam! Today we're talking about the off-bell principle. So I'm going to give you a definition of the off-bell principle here first, and then we're going to apply it and see how that looks. Okay, so when elements beyond Z of 10, then the off-bell principle is applied, which states as protons are added one by one to the nucleus to build up elements, electrons are similarly added to atomic orbitals. This explains the order in which subshells are filled, not orbitals like Hun's rule. The subshells are filled first with lowest energy possible. Okay, this is why the 4s orbital is lower in energy than the 3d orbital, for example. This helps in understanding ground state electron configurations as well. Okay, so here is this pattern here. So I want you to take a look at this pattern here first before I show you how it's applied. So on the far left-hand side, okay, I have a bunch of S's all in a vertical row. Then next column over, a bunch of P's. Then D's, F, G, H, I. For the most part, you won't have to go in the G, H, and I region, but I want you to see what the pattern is. Okay, then on the horizontal sections, I'm just going to do numbers, uh, positive whole integers by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay? And this is how you write down the orbitals of the subshells. Okay? So here we go. We're going to start at the top and we're going to follow the arrow that's going to come down. So we're going to follow from the base of the arrow, just like what, uh, where the feathers are, all the way to the tip. And then we're going to go base of the arrow and then to the tip again. So base of the arrow to the tip, base of the arrow to the tip. That's why when we are writing out electron configurations or orbital box diagrams, it's 1s2, 2s2. Then after 2s is 2p, then 3s. After 3s comes 3p, and then 4s. After 4s comes 3d. 4p, 5s. After 5s comes 4d, 5p, 6s. After 6s comes 4f, 5d, 4, sorry, 6p, 7s. And hopefully you get the pattern here. So this is the entire pattern. If you look online, you can probably see this in the shape of a Christmas tree or something like that. And then you can follow the pattern as well. Okay, this right here shows you the maximum number of electrons in each of the subshells. So that is, how many electrons can you fit in the S subshell? Two. How many electrons can you fit in the P subshell? Subshell? That is six, because there are three orbitals, two electrons per orbital. How many electrons can you fit in the D subshell? Ten, because there are five orbitals, two electrons per orbital. So it's two times five. Okay, same with the S. And that is there are seven orbitals in the F, but two electrons per orbital. So it's two times the seven gives me the 14, etc. Okay, that was another video. And I've got another hat. And this hat here is my kind of, I don't know, off to the side French or uh, Spanish uh, hat here. And it's the perfect pumpkin, as you can see. Give me a thumbs up on that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you next time for more chemistry on the periodic table and orbital labels. Bam!